rebuilt an Oregon State program that had gone 1-11 when he took over in 2018 and led the Beavers to three straight bowl appearances. Jonathan Smith was introduced as the Spartans' new head coach. As Marley Weirder reports, Michigan State is banking on a similar type of turnaround. Like any new coach that comes to take over a program, there's going to be some rebuilding to do on the field, but Jonathan Smith has his work cut out for him as he tries to repair MSU's reputation after what was a tumultuous year in East Lansing. I feel uh, being here, the approach we're going to take, I think it's going to be a really good for, good thing for Michigan State. I want to make sure they know how excited I am to do this. Uh, I, in, in a lot of ways, I chose them. I'm wanting to be around them and coach them at this special, special place. The former Oregon State head coach replaces Harlan Barnett, who served as the interim head coach since Mel Tucker's firing. Athletic director Alan Haller said he interviewed 12 coaches for the job, with Smith unexpectedly rising to the top of the candidate pool. He was not probably in our top group initially, but when I started doing research, I started looking at style of play, and I started talking to him and looking at press conferences. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I wanted to get a good coach, a good person, and uh, somebody that can come into our community and kind of rally our fan base, and pe people will like him as a person. But with any transition, there comes turnover, and that includes coaches and players. A handful of Spartans have already left for the transfer portal, including three quarterbacks, leaving just one left on the roster. So that's not... Um well, how I would say, not totally surprising for guys to maybe want to explore an option or two. And I get that. And we really support those that want to be in that locker room on, in January. I got a firm belief we can hit the ground running and do something special. Smith doesn't have many ties to the Midwest as a born and raised Californian, but Athletic Director Alan Haller said that wasn't a priority for him. In fact, they're hoping to fill that gap in other ways, especially when it comes to putting together their coaching staff. Reporting in East Lansing, Marley Weirda, News 8.